What is up people, Mr. Fowler here bringing you another video. So guys, you guys remember this phone that I got myself for my birthday, which was in December, three months ago. Well, I decided to upgrade. Keeping blue though, because I love this phone so much that I trusted them with my new phone. Now you may be asking, why am I getting a new phone three months after getting this phone? Well, that's a good question. <laughs> I was just about to answer it, but I forgot I didn't have her phone. So it'll be one second. This is why. This is her phone. Okay? Very extremely basic smartphone. I'm trying to do this without the reflection, but the reflection just wants to stay there. Look at how bad that reflection is. But yeah, compared to my my phone, which is now going to be my old phone, look at the size difference with the screen. Yeah. This one, two gigabytes of storage. This one, eight gigabytes of storage. This one, half a gigabyte of RAM. This one, one gigabyte of RAM. So, this is going to be her new phone. After I set this one up and get this one all set up and all that and get my stuff off here, and then I'm going to factory reset this one, put the SIM card from this one into this one. If I can, if not, i got to go to Metro and do that. Um, because some SIM some cards are different sizes and stuff, depending on the phone or whatever. I don't remember what what they said about that. But uh, put her SIM card in this one, put my SIM card in this one. However I do that. Um, and then she'll be upgrading from this to this. Uh, this will be her new phone. I'll factory reset it so that everything is completely fresh on the phone. And yeah, so this is a birthday present. Um, might not be a brand new birthday present but still and you may be asking why I'm getting the new phone instead of her and that's just because I like work and all of that and I usually use it a lot more than her for games or work or whatever so it's still a big upgrade for her because it's not like she needs like the, the top of the line thing uh, it's not like I do either that's why I got this phone instead of a top of the line but this is pretty good too so, getting that out of the way, the reason why I upgraded 1 gigabyte of RAM, 3 gigabytes of RAM, 8 gigabytes of storage, 64 gigabytes of storage, uh, 8 megabyte megapixel camera, 16 in the back, 8 in the front. So, and... Not that I really care too much, but a fingerprint scanner. It also has Gorilla Glass, uh, Snapdragon by Qualcomm 430, and a OctaCore 1.4 gigahertz processor. Oh, four gigabytes of RAM, not three. Sorry, I was thinking about the other one. Oh yeah, also this one is 720p display. This is 1080, full 1080. So, yeah. Um, so I'm going to. Uh, unbox this right now so here we go so here's the phone that's the case pretty similar to the last phone unboxing uh, guide on how to install the sim card and all that got on the phone itself. This one is the Life One X2. Got a charger cable. Got a charger. More headphones or head, head earbuds, which I hate earbuds. So I can't really review the earbuds because I don't like them anyway. Uh, 
just the barcode and all that information on everything that it came with and a screen protector. I'm not going to take that out. Um, so yeah, that is my phone and let's actually open it up now. And this is still cheap. It's still under $200 just like my original phone. Okay, so here it is. Got to take the thing off, but this is the back. Let's compare it. Um, well, I still, I have the, the thing that it came with, the uh, protector thing over it. I don't remember what it's called uh, right now. I'm drawing a blank because I'm so tired. Okay, comparing the backs. Um, you can definitely tell the difference between the two. Uh, oh my empty water bottles. So it looks like this one's a tiny bit bigger. Um, tiny, tiny, tiny bit longer. Um, same width though, it looks like. But uh, let's compare the front. First, I gotta take this off. There we go. There's the front. Um, you can definitely tell differences right away. Um, this one has a actual button here, where this one doesn't. This one's on-screen button. Um, I don't know how much I like that. As long as it still has a back button, because freaking iPhones, I hate iPhones just because there's no back button. It's just this. And it annoys the hell out of me. Maybe it's not like that for all iPhones, but every iPhone that I tried, it only has this, nothing else. There's nothing on screen, there's nothing. Annoys the absolute shit out of me. And there's no menu button or whatever to, to check everything that's open, and you gotta go through the settings and all that. It's very, very, very annoying to me. But uh, right away, I notice um, the old one, there's the camera right there, that's it. This one camera what is that is that a flash I don't know I will find out shouldn't do that didn't mean to do that um, did you just see the move the phone move by itself what the hell it's possessed how is it doing that what the heck What is going on here? It's freaking possessed, Blue. Why did you send me a cursed phone? It's not vibrating, either. It's just sliding. See? I don't even have to put my finger on it like an ooya. It just moved by itself. Or, I mean, Ouija. Ooya. What the fuck? Okay, I think it's just because it's slightly curved, because it says curved screen or something like that. I don't really know. Maybe this is the fingerprint scanner. Um, that's my guess. It's probably a home button, too, or something. I don't know. I can look through this, but that's going to be boring to you guys. But um, there you go. It says rear camera, flash, speaker, just like the other one. What about the front? front camera it's not labeling that at all I don't know why maybe they're I don't know volume power uh, home fingerprint sensor okay so why is it only a fingerprint sensor why not use that as home too or maybe you can I don't know and it still has the back button thank God okay that's all I needed to know let's see if this thing will turn on without charging there you go Of course, though, like with all phones, when you turn it on, after it's fully shut off, it's going to take a little bit to load up. But, you know what I should have done, is had this one off, and then turn them both on at the same time, see which one 
See, it would probably takes about the same time because that, that felt like the same amount of time. Because you know how, like, if you have a better processor and all of that, sometimes it'll load up faster, but you never know. Anyway, I'm going to go through all the setup and everything, but uh, that's probably it, too, because I don't want personal information showing and stuff. But there you go. I have a new phone, and Mom is going to have a new phone. Technically, it's not new, but it's going to be new to her, so... Uh, it's still good, though, right? Like, you can give used items as gifts, right? I mean, what's a thrift store for, right? Don't How many of you go to thrift stores, buy something for somebody else, and give it to them? I mean, same thing, right? Um, I really did want to get her a brand new phone, too. But then that'd kind of be a waste of this phone, because it's only been... It's only three months old. So it's not like it's been used much. So, yeah. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching, guys. I will see you tomorrow. Bye.